Hey everybody, this is a video overview of the CRKT GSD. It stands for Get Shit Done. And it is a knife designed by Liang Ma, produced by CRKT, and it's produced overseas. This is a, I believe this is a Taiwanese made knife. And this is the second video that I've made. This is actually the third video. The uh, first video I put up was 42 seconds long, and I got the manufacturer, uh, the country manufacturer wrong, and I got the blade steel wrong. And then the second video, I cut myself. Um, I can tell you that this knife comes very sharp out of the box because I cut myself. So um, take care. Uh, you probably won't have an issue because one thing that I've noticed is it's really hard to flip a knife uh, around a camera. But the GSD has OS8 steel. It's a 3.3 inch blade and uh, it has a stainless steel frame lock. It has a sculpted pocket clip, although as you can see there, there's quite a bit of space between the clip and the body. So this is more like a pocket hook, kind of like the Keras Custom, um, the fountain pen. It, it just had the ink. It just had a massive sculpted clip that didn't contact the body. Uh, so let's run through this knife and I'll tell you the pros and the cons. The first thing is this is a beautiful knife. Uh, Liang Ma is one of the better designers out there and um, he can make things look clean, he can make things look complicated, and he can do everything in between. And it's just depending on what he wants to do. But the really unusual thing is, even like his really simple knives, they work in the hand. And his really complicated knives, they also work in the hand. Uh, like the Eraser was a really complicated knife. And it is uh, great in the hand. One of the better knives I've ever had in terms of grip. So this knife itself, the, the GSD, um, it runs uh, it's the IKBS washers. It is a flipper opener, as you can see, I've flipped it a couple times. And this knife is really tall. So let me give you a comparison. That's the Rat 2, and that's the GSD. Very, very wide. This is the Trey G10 and the GSD. It's just incredibly wide. The blade is tall, the handle is tall, everything about this knife is tall. And as you can see, the handle's real thin, super, super thin, but it kind of feels like you have a trade paperback in your, uh, in your pocket because the knife is so wide. Another reason it feels like you have a trade paperback in your pocket, this knife is really heavy. So it's a pretty thick blade, even though it's, uh, there's a swedge all around. It's a very tall blade, and then it has these uh, stainless steel handles. They're not milled out, they're very heavy. And instead of pillar construction, it has a backspacer, which is fine. I mean, it makes it clean looking. But it, everything that they did here just added weight. Um, I would not have minded aluminum handles with an insert, although that probably would have been more expensive. I certainly wouldn't mind titanium handles with an insert. Uh, I, if they're going to do stainless steel, it would be nice to see them mill that out. Um, A.G. Russell mills it out on his uh, Scorpion, and that's a really good little knife. And it's very light in the pocket, and it still uses stainless steel. Uh, one of the things that I, I, I noted about the knife um, while well, during the testing period was this placement of the flipper tab is really weird. So I kind of like to have a place to put my finger down on. So like if it's flat here, you can kind of get one of these things going on, get a little bit more tension. Here you kind of have to drape your finger across or if you're not going to just drape your finger, you have to really get in on that point and over time does start to wear on your finger. So compare the placement of the flipper tab on the GSD with the placement of the flipper tab on the Trey G10. The Trey G10 is one of the best flippers on the market. It's, the action isn't great. The action isn't, you know, 10 out of 10, but the action is good enough and the ergonomics of the flipper is phenomenal. So there's a little space here, and what that ends up doing is it gives you a place to rest your finger to build up the tension necessary to pop the knife open. The GSD also has this little channel here, so your finger's a place to land, um, or that tray does. The GSD doesn't have anything in it, which is fine, that's, that's not necessary, but this, this placement thing is just, it's really weird. The other thing that's strange is even though this knife is really big and it runs on IKBS, it's not the fastest flipper in the world. It's pretty consistent, but it doesn't flip as fast as I would expect it to. It doesn't flip as fast as the, the tray does. I mean, the tray is like a, a rocket by comparison, so it's hard to 
it's hard to say what that's caused by. Maybe, the, maybe there needs to be some lubricant in there. I don't know. But either way, uh, it's not as fast as I'd expect. The knife itself is quite beautiful. I mean, as you can see, the lines on the blade match the chamfer on the knife uh, handle. And there's some good, purposeful, but not ridiculous jimping up here. There's two tiny pieces of jimping right there. And the knife has Aus 8 steel, which is pretty good steel. I think I said that before, but just in case, that's one of the things I got wrong in the original. Um, and the, the, the tolerances on the frame lock, the frame lock is amazingly tight. I can't get any wiggle on that, but it still disengages super easy. I can, I can squeeze it. It still disengages. Very, very, very good. And this is really clean cut. Um, the knife is very minimal looking. I just wish it was a little bit lighter. And I wish the, the flipper was placed like beep, 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 right there. So, uh, if you want, take a look at the CRKT GSD. It's a little bit of a mid price knife for CRKT, which is good. Uh, they need some more mid price knives. And uh, it's a, definitely a unique offering in their lineup. This is one of the cleanest knives you'll see out of CRK TV. And it's in part because they did a great job collaborating with Young Ma. So take a look at the GSD. A written review will be coming soon. Thanks.